Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So today, it's probably the day you've all been waiting for. It's the day we're tackling the Bubble Under Abyss solutions. We're going to start out with the not-so-easy algorithmic solution. The algorithmic solutions are all you're going to need on the Bubble Under Abyss, actually. And what's interesting is, Bubble Under Abyss, each difficulty has two general layouts that the tiles can be on. But these they tend to work pretty much the same way. So for this one, we can see... All purple noses will go through on this side, and then on this side all purple noses will go in the vortex, and then it'll alternate between two different eye styles. So first up, we're going to put all the purple noses down this way. So this one, all you really have to do is take a look at these two traits, if it happens to be this layout, and send all two minis of that trait up this way. Now all we have to do is take a look at these two traits, and we're going to have to alternate, alright, glasses, cyclops, glasses, cyclops, glasses, cyclops, glasses, cyclops, and we're going to wait for them all to get out of the way, obviously, because that would be bad if we didn't. Alright. So, glasses, cyclops, glasses, cyclops. And we're going to wait a little bit of it. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> Same distance either way. They travel through the same amount of tiles, so it doesn't really matter all that much. And again, just alternate. Glasses, Cyclops, Glasses, Cyclops. And if we run out of one type, like we've ran out of Cyclops, let's just put any other eye guy that way. And I just, can I just say, I think I've mentioned it before, but I absolutely love the Bubble Wonder Abyss music. It's so beautiful. And yeah, that's pretty simple for not so easy. It's literally one pathway will only accept Zuminis with the specified trait. The other will accept Zuminis without the specified trait, but then you have to alternate between two different traits. Otherwise, if you don't, they're gonna go in the vortex. So pretty simple. And that's just one of the two different grid layouts you could get. There's another grid layout that we're gonna show off next. Whoa! As you can see, different grid layout, but still generally the same solution. Bald tuft guys will go up this way, and then non-bald tuft guys will go up that way, and we have to alternate between ponytail and green hat here. So let's just start by getting all the baldies out of the way. We don't want it to get hurt. Alright. Now if we send them up this way... See, normally, the bald-headed guys go straight into the vortex, but if we could go this way, we'll go up and then around, and then ponytails will fall in first. So what we want to do is do green hat, then ponytail, and we're going to send them up this way. So green hat, then ponytail. Now, the problem is this grid layout is not as nice as the other one because there's a much higher chance of collisions between the Zumbinis. Because the grid overlaps on itself a lot, as you can see. Like, that Zumini just goes in a circle. So, we actually have to be very patient with this. Because if we aren't very patient, then we can easily end up with a Zumini that falls into the gorge. And it's mainly after we send the green hats that we have to be very patient. Because, again... We really, really, really don't want two Zumbinis in a bubble to collide unless one of them is on the magic square. Which we don't even see until the later difficulties. Zumbinis hate to burst each other's bubbles. Yeah, so if, if you're a speedrunner going through this game, pray that you get the other grid layout. Because if you don't, that's going to slow your game down to a crawl. Either that, or you can probably be more aggressive with sending zoom minis over than I am. But I always say better safe than so. Alright, we are now no longer have to worry about which zoom minis we send. We literally just need to make sure we don't kill anybody. <laughs> That's that's a priority. Yeah, I'm sure I could send them faster than this, but I don't want to pop any Zumbini's bubbles. Because that's the only thing standing in their way between victory and a plunge into a bottomless pit. Mm, 
This music, though. Super ominous, slightly creepy, but beautiful. Alright, that's gonna do it. With this, the Zuminis all get across to safety. We just have to watch this guy. I take the long way home. Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. I take the long way home. This Artie's not a professional singer by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm sorry. I've been told that, like, I'm actually, like, not a bad singer, but I just don't really try in my Let's Play videos. <laughs> Take the long way home. Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. I take the long way home. All right, so that's the. Those are the two different grid layouts you can get from Bubble Wonder Abyss. Um, not so easy. Whoa, I hope you enjoyed those, and I hope those will help you out in the future. If you were having, if you're having trouble with Bubble Wonder Abyss, anyways, I'm pretty sure the very, very hard algorithmic solution is going to be a godsend to you all. And I hope you will enjoy that that one, guys. So thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you in the future. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.